multicast class D is used for multicast address for an example in AJRP routing protocol the multicast address for AJRP is 224.0.0.10 if you are using OSPF routing protocol means the multicast address is 224.0.0.5 is used for all the routers of OSP routing protocol and 224.0.0.6 is used for DR and BDR so that concept should be seen later so just in multicast I will tell you two example addresses and class C E is used for multi and research purpose ok let's we can go to the sums so example sums so in that example sums I will teach you how to find out net ID first host last host and broadcast let's we can take an class A IP address 25.127.255.234 okay so the sub 9 mask is <coughs> 255.0.0.0 okay so this is an example sum for example in our office I am using an PC so in that PC I will just go to command prompt and I will give IP config so that time I will get an IP address so the IP version I IP version 4 address it will be showing like 25.127.255.234 and subnet mask is an 255.0.0.0 okay this IP is getting from my office for example so now I want to find out net ID so four things I want to find out first one is net ID second one is first host and third one is last host and last one is broadcast okay so first one I want to find out net ID second one I want to find out first host and third one last host and fourth one broadcast okay so first of all what is the usage of net ID so net ID means in an office I will get this IP address in my office network entire office network should be represents through that net ID so through that net ID only my entire office network should be represent so this net ID we can use only in routing protocol so if you are configuring router in a router we have to configure routing protocol for example EHRP OSPF so that time in my office network entire network should be represents through the net ID so this net ID should be configured in router next one first host first host means in on an office network what is the starting IP in my office network that should be represents first host next last host last host means what is the last IP of in my office network that should be represents last host next broadcast so broadcast using this IP address we have to check out how many IP address how many devices are connected in my office network so if I give that broadcast IP means what are the devices connected in my office network should be replied let's we can find out <coughs> so first one we have to find out net ID so how to find out net ID means first of all we have to check it 25.127.255.234 so this is my IP address <coughs> and subnet mask would be n 255.0.0.0 so it's a default only so for example 255 if this 25 is comes under <coughs> class A because 25 comes under 1 to 126 so the default subnet mask is 255 okay so <coughs> just remaining 24 bit should be an host ID that means this 127 255 and 234 so this 3 octet should be an host ID it should be changed randomly but 25 is a constant in my office network it cannot be changed so if you want to find out net ID means so you have to put uh, you have to put zeros in host bit <coughs> that means the 25 127 255.234 should be written in binary format so 0 
0 128 64 32 also 0 and 16 1 8 1 next 4 0 2 0 and 1 so 25 should be represent in binary format <coughs> 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 that means that first bit 0 represents 128 and second bit represents 64 and third bit represents 32 so the given range is 25 so I will put three zeros next to 16 so I will put 1 <coughs> and next fifth bit also I will put 1 so the corresponding value is 8 so 16 plus 8 24 next 4 so I will put 0 2 I will put 0 and 1 so 16 8 24 plus 1 25 so I will return the binary format next three octets should be an host ID so whatever number it will become you don't worry about that just you have to put 24 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay next <coughs> we have to return this we have to write this binary format into decimal format we will get net id so 25.0.0.0 is an net id so <coughs> how it how it we will find out the net id so first octet should be an net id because 255 so that value should be written in binary format so i will return 0011001 so how, how can I write this binary format means so the first bit corresponding decimal value is 128 second bit corresponding decimal value is 64 and third bit corresponding <coughs> decimal value is 32 so I will put 0 because the first octet value is 25 so the fourth bit is an 16 so I will put 1 next fifth bit is an 8 I will put 1 so 16 plus 8 24 remaining 1 is remaining so <coughs> next bit corresponding decimal value is 4 I will put 0 and next bit corresponding decimal value is 2 I will put 0 next bit the corresponding value is 1 so I will put 1 so totally 25 next one so the remaining 3 octets should be an host ID because subnet mask is 255 so the first 8 bit should be a net ID and remaining 24 bit should be an host ID so the remaining 24 bit should be an host ID means it should be changed randomly so that's why whatever IP whatever value it will come just you have to put zeros 24 zeros binary format you don't worry about that 127 255 234 you don't worry about that just you have to put 24 zeros afterwards we have to 